So we've done it, we're off. Off to cross the Atlantic today. No, no, just the just the edges. A new crew member on board. currently day 16 of our Atlantic crossing and we're now 95 miles away from Grenada but about two hours ago we were eating our lunch as we do every day same time Mr. Stu was having a bacon roll and a bacon and egg roll and literally as I finished the bacon roll I turned round and over the starboard side I could see like what I thought was a small fishing boat and uh, I didn't think anything of it and then I noticed that the boat was like beam on to the sea, so it was really rocking around. And then I obviously looked at, started putting all the pieces of the puzzle together, and I'm like, fishing boat 100 miles this far out is odd. Beam on is odd, and the seas are big. Why there wouldn't be a fishing boat out this far? But then I had another quick look, and then I could see a wind turbine on the back of the boat. Anyway, look through, looking through the binoculars, we realised that it was a boat that had been demasted. So, got sailing, put the engines on, motored over to the boat, and it's a French boat. I, can't, I don't know what the boat's name is yet, we couldn't quite get it, we were worried about other things at the time. Yeah, it's a French vessel with one man on board, well, we believe one man on board. He doesn't speak much English, but what we've made out is that he's been demasted and stranded at sea for three days. Which he just looked defeated when when we um, when we like, found him he was like on his knees literally praying so we, we, we took a line from him and rigged up a tow line Don't worry. Don't worry. 
And now currently towing him into Grenada. We've contacted the, the ARC Plus Rally Control, which is a 24 hour like, emergency line via our sat phone. So we called them up and we've described the situation that's happening and that we're towing this guy into Grenada and we've asked them to alert the Grenadian authorities just to let them know that we're towing this guy in. Currently we were at 100% fuel, um, we're now at 96 so I'm monitoring the fuel level. We've travelled about, about 15 miles on 4% fuel with both engines running. Um, so we should have enough to get us into Grenada, at least, at least enough to get us close enough to the coast so the coast guys can come and grab him off of us. But um, yeah, it's going to be a long night tonight. We're all going to stay up and try and have like little powwows. Um, just don't want to lose him. No one, no one, his line to snap. Our lines are pretty sturdy, but his line isn't the greatest. But um, still a bit mad, really. I just don't know what would have happened to him had we not picked him up. Just don't know. Anyway, enough of that for the minute. We are so. I keep on saying this time tomorrow we'll be having rum punch, but I hope now this time tomorrow we'll be having rum punch. And hopefully with this guy, sun is almost it's on the decline now. So we should be getting a nice sunset. Hopefully. A nice squallless night. Calm. I mean, the conditions, if they're like this, is perfect because the wind and the swell is all pushing us along, stopping the snap in the tow line. So hopefully, this can hold out. But yeah, it's literally like it just goes to show you anything can happen. And also, while all this madness is going on, our newly adopted pet is being fed by a jailer. Hi there. Hi there, Jay. Hi there. <laughs> We've named him Rodders from Rodney from Only Fools and Horses. So he's a bit stupid. You've got tuna. He's had mahi for lunch yesterday, and he's got tuna for lunch today. John West, John West tuna, very nice. Got the 
Baby boy we're towing out the back. We're feeding this bird tuna. Yeah. Life's good. Very crazy. You just never know what's going to happen. One goes, you've still got one on there. Dominique. 
the Grenadian Coast Guard. It's probably more Tobago. Um, good afternoon, um, how are you? I'm just calling you from my sat phone um, out in the Atlantic. I'm 80 miles from Grenada and we've just found a boat that has no mast. He has been at sea for three days stranded. Um, we are trying to tow him, but the lines keep snapping and the seas are too big. Um, is there anything we can do? Can the Coast Guard come out, maybe? Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Oh, in the line. I mean, 80 miles is, is far them to come out but eight hours on a 10 knot boat okay no problem I'll call them just um, just to let you know if I, if I can't get through to them how far can you come out because obviously we, we're heading to Grenada and if they can't help us then um, how far can you come up 30 miles maybe 30 miles I mean I it's not my boat it's, I don't know the, the guy, um, does it cost to be towed in? Is it a charge or? Okay, brilliant. So if I can't get through to Trinidad, I'll call you guys up at about, when, I'm, when I'm about 35 miles. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hey guys, so it's seven o'clock. Just come down to try and get an hour nap um, because I think we're all gonna stay up um, tonight or do double shifts together rather than single ones. Uh, probably can't sleep though because a lot's gone on today. Yeah, just so glad that we managed to find this guy and grab his line and tow him because I can't even imagine how he must have felt being at sea three days without any sails or engine and just waiting to hopefully bump into someone in the middle of the Atlantic. Luckily we're only a day away. <sighs> it's just been crazy emotional day but yeah it's just so so lucky that we spotted him so just trying to get through to the Grenadian Coast Guard to see if they can come and take this tow from us because it's we've snapped a couple of lines already the conditions are picking up night is coming in um, can't get through to Trinidad or Tobago who have the long distance um, lifeboat but I'm, I'm gonna try and arrange a rendezvous. Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. What I can advise you to do? Um, yeah. You can call, um, so how far can you guys come out if we have to arrange a rendezvous? 50 miles? Do you reckon you can make it 50 miles? Yeah, I called, Tri I called Trinidad, I couldn't get through. Yeah, I'm asking you closer to Grenada, Trinidad or Trinidad. Oh, well, I'm closer. I'm closer to... Uh, I'm closer to... Tobago. Trinidad and Tobago. Trinidad? Yeah, but I can't, I can't get... Well, 
I can't get. I, okay, uh, can you repeat the number to me again, please? Um. Okay, and if I if I can't get through to them, I'll um. Is it okay to call you guys when we're fifty oh, miles? Or some Vincent. If I can't get through to them, is it okay if I call you guys when we're fifty miles out? Um, and then we can swap the tow. Let's call a grenade in Coast Guard. I'm gonna try Trinidad, Trinidad and Tobago Coast Guard again because they're 50 miles away. They might be able to um, launch a boat and come and intercept us now. Um, and I'll also try St Vincent because they're a little bit closer. they well, actually, yeah, they're a little bit closer to us. But I think they have a bigger life craft, lifeboat. Um, if not, that guy said. Um, if we call him when we're 50 miles away, which is in 29 miles, um, he'll come send the boat and we can intercept that, and they'll intercept us and tow us in, tow them in. So this guy in, let's just go get the help me. Sorry man, it's me again. I can't get through to Tobago. Could you get them to call me, please? I hope they're gonna call me back now and um, Arrange and take this tow. Worst case, you've got this for 20, 29 miles, which is quite painstaking at three knots. But hopefully, if the seas, the sea conditions improve, we can probably just tweak it a little bit more and go a little bit faster. Tough. Just don't want that line to snap at night because if that goes at night, then um, it's just a pain reattaching. Obviously we'll do it. Oh, we need now a squall to run through. That would be great, wouldn't it? Put the radar on. Go and put a kettle on, make a coffee, have a shower, and let the team know what the score is. So, shower's had, I'll make a coffee in a minute, but I just had a thought. I brought this book, the Windward Islands, and the Leeward Islands, before we left, and it's got the Coast Guard number in for St Vincent. So, I'm gonna give them a call, because I think I might have, oh, hang on. I might have taken it down wrong, five, four. Yeah, I did. number via email so I'm just downloading the mail the email from the Iridium Go mail app just dialing up the swells building up which is not what we need it's, it's our surf down the swell because we surf faster than him it's that our surf down the swell which causes a, a snap but um, we've just put stretchy mooring lines on each hole of ours just to sort of like half the load of the snap and it's fine but I think his end it's chafing through that's what happened on the last um the last line, but oh, it's called it. That's the result. First time. It'd be great if they can come out. Thank you. No, no luck. Right. I'll just call Grenada and let them know. Can't get through to anyone else. Bad it. I'm now 77 miles away from Grenada. When I'm at 50 miles, I'm going to give you a call. Yeah, yeah. We put we give them your, your number we... so that they can call. They call no, I, have, I've, I haven't. They haven't contacted me, and I can't get through to them either. We also give them your number because they will be trying to contact you also. Okay, cool. Well, I'll keep trying, and they can keep trying me. Um, if um, but if I can't get okay, through, sure. if I can't. But if I can't get through to them, I'll call you when we're 50 miles out. And if you can meet us, then we can arrange the tow, if that's OK. okay. Yeah. Okay, then. Thank you very okay, much. Then. Thank yeah. you. Oh, Rocket fuel. Cheers. Come on, answer the phone. I might just call that tanker, see if he knows the number. Calling San Fernando, sir. Come back. Good evening, San Fernando. This is Coco. Uh, thank you, I'm ready. If you can relay it over to me, that'd be great. 993. 
Well, thank you very much, gentlemen. Have a fantastic sale wherever you guys are going, and uh, thank you very much for your help. Come on, please. Sorry, your call cannot be processed at the moment. God's sake. Again, uh, hello. Um, currently, the rope's just been caught, caught around his kill, so someone needs to come out and rescue this man, um, otherwise, he, his life is at danger immediate danger. We need to know if somebody's coming out to save him, okay? Because this guy is gonna die if no one helps him. But what did he say? Not much, really. We cannot assist you at this moment. Again, the lion's got caught under his boat and we're literally surrounded by schools. Now there's another two schools just coming, but hopefully the sun's gonna come up soon. I can't even imagine how that guy's feeling. He must be terrified. Alf and Stu have been incredible. They've just been up this whole time untangling the lion. He keeps getting caught under his boat, but a bit of light will be good now. So I'll probably go um, just run that way downwind for now. Because he's getting a bit close. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. That, that angle there is perfect. Yeah, that's it. Just it keeps wandering off. We keep going off course, but we're in schools. The autopilot's probably knackered. We've really been straining it. You see how hard the autopilot's working. Tuna are just there, which is another bow on the arc. So hopefully. I think you're right, mate. Oh my god. Why your tear up? Untie your tear up! No! Hello! He's got the message, he's at the yeah, back. Yeah, I think he's got it now. Yeah. I think he's lashed it up. He's yeah, it he's unlashing time. it. I can see. I can see him. I think he's untied it. Looking better. It's a bit better now, doesn't it? We'll be 12 miles off Grenada in six hours. Yeah. It'll be daylight and then, yeah. I mean, worst case, if we're not, if we're 12 miles out, we're just taking the rest of the way. Yeah. I think we're end up taking the rest of the way anyway, to yeah. be honest, because they're reluctant to come out. They, don't, they obviously don't want to come out. Yeah. What was it, four of them? Yeah. Trinidad, Tobago, Barbados, St. Vincent. And, St. Vincent yeah. and Grenada. Yeah. Five. Five coast cars. Yeah. Well, the sky looks good, ladies and gentlemen. The sky looks good. You guys have done incredible. Wide awake. Pretty inexperienced, if I'm honest. I think he's gaining experience. That <laughs> 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 he's learning curves like that right yeah, now. It is. <laughs> Alfie and Stu, 
You are sailors of the day. <laughs> and night. Yeah, 